Today's going to be really good. We've got the crew into the factory, which is a real treat. I think they're going to really enjoy it. We're going to take them sort of from the very beginning of the rope's journey as it comes in as a flat yarn through all of the twisting machines where it gets noisy and then into the braiding area where we join cores and covers of rope together, then through into the stretching elements of the factory and then finally into the reeling where the finished goods are put on the reel. So the D2 racing line is a Dyneema core and a polyester cover which is used for pretty much everything on board the boat. D2 racing line was designed to be lightweight, high strength and low stretch which is the perfect combination of things you need for the clipper race, especially in offshore conditions. When handling the rope it's a lot lighter than its polyester equivalent and also you'd need a much greater diameter polyester rope to hold the same load. Blue Ocean Dockline, uh, we recently found a partner who supplies yarn which has been made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. So we're taking bottles from recycling plants or from the ocean, stop them going into the ocean and uh, regenerating them and reusing them. On the Clipper Race Fleet we use 15,600 metres of rope. Um, that includes the rope for the boats and also the spares. So D2 racing is perfect for the Clipper race because it uh, doesn't creep and elongate very much at all because of the Dyneema SK78 core. Looking at the, the results from the last race, certainly that I saw the, the rope come off the last boats after 40,000 nautical miles, uh, the rope was in great shape. So the, you know, the rope is robust, the elongation is good, um, and you can buy it from just about any chandlery. So you know, it's a mainstream product that performs all the way around the world. Splicing wise we're going to be working with the D2 products uh, but we're going to be teaching them to do covered eye splices which is quite, quite technical, quite tricky so they're going to have to work quite hard on that. The reason we're teaching the splicing is specifically because D2 is a Dyneema product we're very much pushing out the information that we don't want to be tying knots in Dyneema product. What we lose if we tie a knot is about 70% of the brake load. If you splice a piece of Dyneema you'll retain almost 100%. It's a really good insight to see, I mean, I've been on board boat, we've, we've had ropes cut out, so you see what's in the middle, but it's good to see the process from beginning to end, and pretty impressive to see how it starts off as lots of strands put together, and the Dyneema um, creates that strength, and then obviously all the various different colours on the outside. Seeing that being well, um, spun was quite interesting. I was really excited to come to Marlow Ropes today. It, it, it's been brilliant. I, in all honesty, I wasn't expecting that much, probably just to see around the factory and, and that, but uh, it's been just opened my eyes really to see how much goes into the equipment we'll be using. It's nice to get people into the factory because it, it puts an identity behind the, the rope that's out on the boat uh, and people are usually fairly staggered by certainly the number of people here and the fact that the product is built here from its flat yarn all the way through to the finished rope. So, you know, they seem quite excited. It's put a different view on something that uh, they've not looked at that way before. So it's been a great day and I think they've learned a great deal and it's been a pleasure to have them. <laughs>